Welcome to Lesson 11, Copy and Delete Members of the SDS2 Getting Started series. Let's begin with the copy command. First, where is it located? Well, of course, under the drop-down menu under Member, we can see that copy is located here. I can also select a member or several members, right-click, and when a member is selected, the Copy Member command will appear in the right-click menu. Let's go ahead and select it from here. Now, as you can see, there are several options in this prompt screen. Let's begin with Single. I'll go ahead and hit OK. Now, the system will prompt me at the top left to locate a reference point. I'm going to locate using exact point. Now, again, the system will be asking me to locate a second point. I will locate the second location where I would like this member to be. The system will ask me to confirm the copy. I will go ahead and answer yes. Now the system is still in the copy command. I can continue to copy these members around the structure. So if I want to locate the next one, I can go ahead and copy. It will again prompt for a confirm. And I can locate wherever I want on this structure. I am now completed, so I am going to either escape or right click and hit return. After process, we can see that the members have now been assigned their shipping marks. Let's go ahead and select this member. Once again, I'm going to right-click Copy. This time, I'm going to show you the Linear and Fill options. If you select Linear, you will be restricted to either horizontal, vertically, or both. I can get the same effect of selecting the Fill option. If I want to go up in the Y direction only. I just need to type in the values that I want to use and leave the X values at zero. Sequence. I can change the sequence to another sequence for that member. And I can tell the system to keep the existing piece mark. Again, it's going to prompt me to confirm the copy. Yes. Now you'll notice that these piece marks here are maintained. One thing I would like to mention is that after a process, if there were something different about these members, on, for example, what they were connecting to, that piece mark would be changed. Let me demonstrate. I'm going to go and select this B15 now. Let's go up here and do a copy member operation. Let's just add this one up here, two foot six. one copy keep existing piece mark go ahead and hit OK now you notice that it says it's B15 this one's connecting to column webs these are connecting to these 18 by 35s once I go ahead and run that process we'll see that the mark is updated to the B underscore 43 I would like to add in one more copy command I'm going to locate this member, right click, and then go ahead and select the copy members. Let's say, for example, I had a floor, and I wanted to copy this floor up three feet. Well, I'm going to select the single option, hit OK, use exact point or intersection construction line or whichever point I would like to use for a reference point, and then use the DXDY point locator, and then in the Z direction, I will simply type in the amount that I want to move up. Once again, confirm my copy. So now we can see as I rotate this that I have copied the member up three feet in the Z direction. Of course, you can copy down by typing in a negative value into the DX DY. Now on to delete and undelete. First of all, I'm going to select some members to delete and then use my delete key on the keyboard. Now if I wanted to delete members that were all over the structure that had the same shipping mark, I could always come down, right click on top of a member, go to select other, and select all the members and then delete it from here. Next let's move on to the undelete command. I'm going to go to my model, member, tear off that screen. Earlier I spoke about this undelete, visual undelete, and quick undelete. Now, let's start off with quick undelete. 
if I have not closed my screen. I can use the quick undelete option which will bring these members back immediately. If my screen has been closed or if I've gone home and the project's been done for the weekend and I'm coming back on Monday morning and I've deleted some members, I can no longer use that quick undelete because the screen has been closed. But what I can use is the visual undelete or the undelete. Now undelete builds you a list which allows you to go ahead if you know what those piece marks are you can go ahead and select those members and bring them back. Visual undelete on the other hand and I'm going to go ahead and turn a few of these members here to solid. Using the visual undelete you will notice that any member that is in stick will be green that is in, this, in the project anyone that is solid will be blue and in the native color of the member you can see which members are going to be proposed to be brought back now I can select which members that I would like to bring back let's say this one here and this one here right click and go ahead and hit OK and as you'll notice the system will bring back only the members that I have selected finally concerning the delete and undelete when a member is deleted, it is placed onto a list within the system. You will be able to undelete these members indefinitely until you remove those members from the list. So where is this list located? In utility functions, you'll see that there is a command here that says release deleted members. When you select this release deleted members command and hit continue, the system will open up this list of all the members that have been deleted. Now you can go ahead and remove all those members from that list. Point is, once those members are removed from that list, you can no longer undelete them because they have been cleared, just like emptying the trash in your recycling bin.